If you are listening to all of Neville's lectures and trying to apply them to your life, but are still struggling, then you are not alone. It's one thing to understand something in theory, but putting it into practice is a whole other ballgame. It really is more about experiencing his methods and techniques for yourself, and less about just cramming his lecture notes. So, if you too are facing some difficulties in your manifestation, even though it feels like you have all the knowledge, then this video is for you. Stay tuned and watch till the end, so that I can give you all the secrets to finally make Neville's techniques work for you. Alright, let's first start with Neville Goddard's most famous and favorite method of reality creation, living in the end. Living in the end simply implies that you connect yourself with the future or end state you want to manifest and live your life from those emotions. Let's say you were trying to manifest large sums of money for yourself, while your current reality is the stark opposite of that. So according to the living in the end formula, you have to completely detach from what's happening in your current reality. Because if you focus too much on your current financial worries, you will be stuck in a state of lack, and you can never create a life full of money and abundance from lack. Neville suggests that instead of giving all your energy to your current reality, you channel it to your future, the desired future. If you are manifesting large sums of money, then you have to connect with the emotions you would feel once that money shows up in your life. These will be emotions of happiness, ease, joy, and gratitude. The more you practice these emotions or live in the end, the faster your manifestation will come to you. But most people make a huge mistake with this living in the end concept. Instead of truly living in the end, they are in fact waiting for the end. What does waiting imply? It means that you are stuck in a miserable state and cannot wait for your manifestation to come, right? That's the opposite of what Neville Goddard has asked us to do. So, go back and reflect on your behavior and feelings. See if you are really living in the end or just desperately waiting for it to come. This will solve a lot of problems in your manifestation endeavor. The second piece of advice I have for you is to completely eliminate doubt and replace it with incredible faith in this universe and in yourself. When you truly embrace the idea that there is absolutely nothing beyond your own creation, you will start building faith in your manifestations. But most people are full of doubt instead of faith when it comes to manifestation. Perhaps they get scared that what if their manifestation doesn't come to pass? Their logical mind is trying to save them from the pain of disappointment. If you think the same way, I can empathize with you. We have been conditioned so deeply for our limitations that thinking or dreaming outside the box feels like a novelty. But if you are treading this path of conscious manifestation, I want you to know that anything and everything is possible for you. You have the God energy flowing through you, and only if you start believing in yourself, you can harness this energy for your manifestations. This means letting go of the doubts and letting faith be your guide. Neville says that faith is an essential ingredient for accomplishing anything in life, and creating the life you desire and doubt is a disruptive force that must be weeded out from your consciousness. He says, Doubt is the only force capable of disturbing the seed or impression. To avoid a miscarriage of so wonderful a child, walk in secrecy through the necessary interval of time that it will take the impression to become an expression. Tell no man of your spiritual romance. Lock your secret within you in joy, confident and happy that someday you will bear the son of your lover by expressing and possessing the nature of your impression. Then will you know the mystery of God said, let us make man in our image. Another reason you might be struggling to bring your desires into reality is that you are obsessed with figuring out the how. How will this desire come true? What will be the best way that this desire can come to fruition? Do you also focus on such questions and try to find the answers in your head? Dr. Joe Dispenza says that your only job is to set an intention with a lot of faith and keep yourself connected to the emotions of your future. That's it. Figuring out how is definitely not your job because your finite logical mind cannot comprehend the mysterious ways in which this universe works. Your logical mind is limited because it develops its judgment and reasoning by looking at the material world, the 3D world, the world of the five senses. So your logical mind can only think of solutions that it can see and prove through the senses. But it's your subconscious mind that has the ability to connect with the collective consciousness. 
This part of your mind is what brings about your manifestations in ways you cannot even predict with the logical mind. So, why are you wasting your time and energy trying to find out ways your desire will come about? Why don't you surrender it to the universe and ask the universe to bring it through the path of least resistance in the shortest amount of time? Let go of this burden of trying to figure things out because you never will. You will think and overthink and that will make you feel worse, not better. If you really want to accelerate the rate at which your manifestations come true, then give yourself the gift of sitting in complete silence for a few minutes every day. Close your eyes and focus on your breath, noticing every inhale and exhale. When you start doing this, your logical mind becomes quieter, and that's when you can access the subconscious, the source of creation. In your silent meditative sessions, you can receive impulses from the higher mind that will guide you about how you should go about your manifestation. When your mind is so calm, you are so much more receptive to divine wisdom and ideas, and just one idea can change your life and bring you to the doorstep of the life you want to manifest. Also, if you have not started working on worthiness, your manifestations won't come about no matter how hard you try. This universe is a reflection of what's going inside of you. If your heart and mind are filled with limiting beliefs and you think you are not worthy of getting your desires fulfilled, there is no way that you will be successful. Building a strong self-concept should be the first step you take when you come into the world of manifestation. Because it is the nucleus around your self-concept revolves everything in your life, including your manifestations. If you want to be rich but mentally you associate with feelings of not having enough money, then you won't be able to attract money. If you want to attract your soulmate, but deep down you question yourself, am I worthy of having such a wonderful partner? Then I am sorry to inform you that you won't be able to attract them. No matter how hard you try, and even if you attract them somehow, you won't be able to continue the relationship. Not just money and relationships, your self-concept impacts every single area of your life, and you cannot change your self-concept overnight. You need at least a few weeks of a mental diet, where you think nothing but thoughts of power and worthiness for yourself. If you keep on thinking powerful thoughts about yourself and your life path, your mind will get rewired with this new information. And then your manifestations will become a byproduct of this process. You will not even need to do anything else for your manifestations. All right, the last method for making your manifestations come easier and faster is to take inspired action toward what you want. Our minds have been trained to think that unless we put in some physical effort, we won't get anything in return. So, you need to take inspired action to satisfy this part of your mind. I am not asking you to go all in and hustle. No, just relax and from a place of love and excitement, take some action for your manifestation. It will make you feel confident about your desire coming true. Click the link on the description to grab your free copy of The Secret Code to Abundance. Dive in and discover the limitless possibilities that await you. Until next time, believe, trust, and keep watching.